Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With me many lives, standing here, deep inside of Alfton, panting, 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 and no wonder we've made our way through the glacial ruins, okay, and it's been harrowing. The Dwemer constructions, they aren't messing around, but today we are going even deeper, and we're going to begin facing something not quite a construct. More of a fleshy, pale, humanoid, creepy creep. So I'm looking forward to that question mark? But of course, as always, we are looting! I don't like fighting these Dwemer creations. Look, Sever! fun and killing something that doesn't even bleed. Look at it! It's a hint of what's to come. A Falmer shield, everybody. That is definitively better than what we have. That was an interesting way of saying definitely, isn't it? We are doing things our own way today. All right, let me see it. Oh, that is, that is an interesting shield. It's rough and raw. I like it. All right, Stunbar. I think we've picked Circlet of Minor Conjuration. Oh, you shouldn't have, but thank you. There are definitely lots of parts, but I'm considering starting to... I'm... Mm, you know what? I can't remember what I picked up last time. I'm just gonna take a couple of them, you know, and then we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens, okay? Somehow this is so fitting, considering we don't actually need our eyes. Alright, let's... I mean, we can't... We can't swap out the Iron Helmet of Magicka, but... It's definitely interesting. Let's see what else we can find down here. There has to be loot. Goods. Into. Alftan. Mistfire. Bless me, there's blood. There's a spider. All right. Let's see if we remember how to deal with these fools. Bring out a mace. Yeah, bring out a shield. And just start smashing. That's really how we do. A recommended technique. Just... That's a sphere! That's a sphere! Oh boy. My fear of geometrical shapes. <laughs> it's returned. Alright, I am going to need some uh, vegetable soup in me. Common soul gem, some Dwemer scrap metal. I mean, we have to have had that. Okay. I am going to... How many do we have? We have eight left. Should be fine. Should last us through the dungeon. Hopefully. Yeah. All right, we'll just keep, just keep bashing, just keep bashing him down. It's a one-handed increase. We gotta remember now that it will be beneficial to level up soon. If I wait too long with leveling up, it's gonna take me right past 15, and we don't really want that. So, all right. Oh. This must be undressed. Uh, whoa! I, I'm just gonna take the charcoal undressed. <laughs> Don't mind me. I wanted the book here, but there's some lockpicks too. All right, let's let's check out his final words. The eyeless creatures took us in our sleep. I don't know what happened to the Khajiit brothers. We never saw them in the cell. I managed to pick the lock, and we made a break for it. We got split up. Sulla yelled something about not leaving without finding what he came here for, and Umana chased after him. Yag and I tried for the top of the cave shaft, but one of the ramps was broken. Without a hesitation, she grabbed me by the scruff of my tunic, threw me atop the ledge, and told me to run. And I did. I didn't even look back. I just ran like a coward. I could hear her fighting them, and I just had to get away. I didn't even notice the arrow in my shoulder, till I hid here. Those metal creatures are still all around me, and I'm too terrified to even move. Eight divines, please just take me now. Falmer Arrow, huh? Well, he's not going to be the only one who's going to be surrounded by Falmer in a bit. <laughs> so, we picked up in the last one the Hide Bracers of Minor Lockpicking, which combined with the Ring of Lockpicking gives us a 35% easy-fying of locks. Which, I mean, 
Didn't really need it. Kind of a pro, but you know, I appreciate the thought. Also, this orcish maze looks amazing. There's a pun in there. He'll find it. He'll find it. Okay. Onward, Stenvar. Let's not get... Uh, that's fire. That's not fire. That's oil dark. But with fire, we could make something happen here. That's... Oh, it's another way to Endrast over here. You hear something? Or are we good? Alrighty, let's just summon the Flame Atronarch in an oil pit. That's just how we do. Careful where you toss those balls. Oh boy. Oh, he's... He's skittering. The skittery boy. I'm actually kind of scared of lighting the oil on fire. That might negatively impact Stenvar. So I'll try to be careful. There we go, though. It ain't no thing. Quicksilver Roar. I have no idea what Flaming was up to, though. He's just cruising around, looking at this place. Okay, let's mine the, the pressure pads, everybody. Let's use the stairs. Look at Stenvar. Figuring it out. Nice. Alright, good job. Good job, gang. We are moving on. But first, there's a robot arachnid I'm trying to kill me. That's just how my Saturday is going to be. It's not a Saturday. It's actually a Thursday. Well, whatever. Let's pretend it's a Saturday because you're watching this. I, mean, you're not, I don't even know if you're watching this on a Saturday. Maybe it's a Thursday for you too. Okay, I must admit though, a certain curiosity as to those pressure pads, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag along very important scientific research experiment going on here. I need to know what happens if one steps on such pressure pads, because knowing me, I'm definitely gonna walk in some traps today. Here we are! Noted, noted, okay. Definitely a um, do not step kind of area. <sighs> oh, we're getting to it now. We're getting to it now. Oh no, where did Flamey go? It took my magic up. Maybe I can't summon Flamey on certain surfaces. Yeah, I don't know where Flamey actually appeared. That's good to know. We need to be careful where we actually spawn Flamey. Alright. Luckily it's just one spider, so it's not a... Can you take fall damage? I think it did. I think it perished. That could be a pretty... There's a lot of verticality to this zone, so... Relying on fall damage... Could be quite smart. Also, I am wearing my Hide Racers of Lockpicking instead of the Steel Plate Gauntlets. It's not a huge issue, but... Amulet of Akatosh. Alright. We will take... Okay. Armor 6. Armor 16. I'll, I'll take them back. Back on the menu. Alright. And I will have Mistfire. Bless me. Savior's Hide on here. Partly for the armor... Partly for the poison resistance and magic resistance, because the Falmer have dirty tricks. I hear something. They were oh, they release a little boy up here. Let's see. Can I spawn? What if I spawn Flamey? Is all of this just forbidden? That's gonna make this very inter. Where's Stenvar? Wait, Stenvar's. Yelling about something. Why? Is he finding Falmer? Another one? Did he get pushed off? Oh boy, if he falls down... He oh no. Alright, let's push this guy off. Wait, there's something down there. Is that another spider? It's just another spider. Alright, alright. Go! Go! There's... There's... Alfton! Alright. Did he get pushed into like... Yeah, he did. He did. Miss Rare, bless me. He's totally... Oh, no! 
Did you see him? I saw like the tip of his warhammer down there. Okay, okay. Stemmar's in trouble. Uh, we're gonna have to do without him for a while. Because we are in combat, so I can't wait for him to just snap to me. That's, that's fine. That's fine. We are all good. All good. As long as we don't meet anything nasty in here. Oh, he's trying so hard to climb the rubble pile. Alright, I need Flamey in here, okay? He hasn't seen me yet. He's very preoccupied with whatever he's doing. Flamey! Thank you. Let's have fun, girl. Let's have fun. Yeah. Also waiting. While it can be powerful for getting back our health and magicka and stamina quickly and also get Stemvar to us, it will obviously also make our vegetable soup run out. And due to how rare leaks have been for us, that can be kind of nasty. Okay, she's going to go after and see if she can... Well, all right, we, we can check out this chamber later. Right now there's something... Is that... Where is... Stenvar! You need to... Okay, just... Looks like the Falmer and the Dwemer are not friends right now. They're fighting over the body of the Orc. That's probably the Orc we've heard about in the journals. Mistfar, bless me. Who's winning? I think the Dwemer's winning, actually. Oh, let's see. Oh, come on. Come on! Okay. That should be the immediate combat. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna try to get Stenvar to my side by running in here. Just far away from all the troubles of the world. Wait! Put down my weapon. Wait. Raise my weapon. Wait. Stenvar! <laughs> Stenvar! Ah, there we go! Uh, well, yeah, this it's not easy terrain, is it? Alright, let's loot. After that whole ordeal, I need to just loot some stuff. That's a nice Dwemer plate. I yeah, will take it. I'll find out when I uh, search Stenvar. That's a Dwarven helmet. That's most likely a skill book. That's a chest, and this is an expert gate. Alright, you know. Ah, no problem. Allow the experts. <laughs> Didn't even, like, move at all. Just insta-crack. Oh, boy. That's what the uh, Khajiit and last one was on. Insta-crack. Oh. 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 oh these bracers are worthless. <laughs> this ring is... Uh. Yes! Give me the goods! Ooh. Ooh, that was a cool sound. It was more of an achievement sound, though. That's not the same as the Claire. Well, it is the same sound, but that's... It's not gonna be confusing at all. Silver and Moonstone Circlet, a Dwarven Helmet, and a Potion of Magicka, as well as a Skeleton with some Golds, and the Locked Room. A book for Stenvar. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Aww. Fine. What? What? As much as I like you, Stemvar. Will do. I have something Need for something. you. Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. I'm gonna give him the dwarven helmet. <laughs> At least for a period of time, okay? I want him to hold on to it. As well as some other heavy stuff that's just kind of appeared in my inventory. It's kind of weird how these things go, huh? Alright, Dwemer lever is something we have. I am Okay, these are too heavy now. Does he have duplicates? He has one plate, too many, one bent scrap metal, one of these, too many. Large decorative Dwemer struts. Okay. So now I could get rid of the Let's Dwemer go. stuff that's in my inventory. Most likely. Alright. Let's put away some of that. Excellent. Swald's, swall lever Dwemer. That's exactly sure. how you Feel pronounce that. It's definitely not small Dwemer lever. I'm gonna shut up now. Let's All right, go. he has that too. Master chest! Okay. Mr. Skeleton, will you take my sins and carry these things that I have picked up? I appreciate you. All right. Ah, I'm ready to go. 
All right, Mimir. This is for all the marbles. The master chest. Now, there's a secret to chests. You got to speak to them, okay? I'm a lock whisperer. Please open. Gosh! I said, please! Oh! I'm gonna be a lock. Hater in a bit. Oh my gosh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's good. It's good. Come on. Come on. Yes! I mean, pfft. easy first try. Here we go. Hunting bow of frost, iron war axe of fear, lock pick, common soul gem. And I know that's not really spectacular loot, but still pretty happy. We got the treasures within. Stenbar is now starting to become too heavy, and I'm... We're gonna have to do something about the loot situation in a bit. I don't think there's any going back. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. This, this, is, this is pleasant. So where you're standing in first person and third person does not always match. Well then, I'll just be taking the elevator down. <laughs> See ya. Okay. A skeever. Some golds. Yug gra <gasps> Where were those teleporting powers earlier when you were stuck on the mountain? Alright. Alto wine, fur shoes, hide armor, iron mace. You did not come in here very well. Oh, equipped. Well, you did have a potion for me, so. Also, there's a falmer here. I will take your ear and a glowing mushroom since you're, you know, offering. Then I will indeed. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Taste both of them. Yeah! <laughs> Not very good. It's a Dwemer spider worker. We also have a little bit of a... Did I see something? Oh, they're down there. They're down there. They're crawling. We're not done with the Falmer just yet. Alright. Don't step on that. Alright. Ah, very good, Stembar. Very good. Alright. Here's the procedure. Oak flesh. Then we need to have some fun. So here's what I want to try. Is raise zombie strong enough for a Falmer? It is. Mistfire bless me. Let's go. Let's get down here. Oh, we're leveling so quickly. We need to actually level up soon so that we know where we're at. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Mm. You've been poisoned. Exactly. Falmers and their nasty poisons. This is another place where vegetable soup would come in handy. That. And he's dead. Alright, we just gotta let gravity do the work for us here. Let's continue onwards. Yep. Oh, more arrows. I want the deflect arrows perk. I really, really do. Ah. <gasps> and level up. Alright. Oh boy, we're level 14 now. We can't level anymore. No, oh, I want to finish this quest before level 15, so we need to think about what we do now. There are a couple of options. There are some things I want. Alteration novice level would be great for casting a cheaper oak flesh. And we just, we're gonna want it. So I have a choice now. I either want summoner, so I can summon Atronax or race undead twice as far away. Mmm. But I'm also thinking about deflect arrows. Arrows that hit the shield do no damage. I kind of want that because we are in... Oh, also, elemental protection will be bonkers good, so... Alright, deflect arrows for the shield, considering we block as much as we do. Oh, Stenvar looks mighty terrifying with that. And that's another Falmer down. It's an ash pile of... Was that my Falmer from earlier? They didn't really get to do much. That's okay. Huh. A little bit of a fire trap there. It's a little defective, so... Mistfire, bless me. Oh, they have a whole village here. All right. Let's do this thing. Now, I believe I can only summon an Atronach or raise a corpse. I can't do both. And right now... Flamey seems more powerful than these Falmer would be raced. But it's something to keep in mind that we can do so. Oh boy. 
Also, I could... Could I Fury them? This is another great thing to test here. That's a nice pose, mister. I can't Fury them. And I don't really have a stronger Fury either. I have a fear. Could I fear him? I fear him! I already fear him! But could I actually, like, toss out the spell fear? That's what I really wanted to ask here. Alright. Stemmer's holding them off with his hammer. And I'm not helping since I'm waiting for my Magicka. So I'm just gonna go in here and bash him a little. Keep them from damaging my friend too much. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I just want to test. I need to... Fear? Right there. We also have Muffle. I need to remember all the spells that we have now. We have Calm, which I don't think is going to work very well because... <laughs> Often we want to fight them, though I could call maybe one person then die. There's opportunities here for playing around that I really want to try. 133 Magicka this costs. How much Magicka do I have overall? 140, so I'll, I'll need full Magicka to actually do that. Okay. Probably not going to be worth it then. It's a lot of Magicka. It's another ear, like one for my collection. Human flesh! Yum yum. Falmer War Axe. I believe I picked up one earlier. Or did I let that... I didn't actually pick up a Falmer War Axe then. I'm gonna take it with me. Alright. Scaly Foliota, Orange Dark Wing, Bleeding Crown, Butterfly Wing, Mr. Wart, Nordic Barnacle, and some salts. Just sort of laying around. Alright, Stenvar. So far, so good. Falmer Bow? Have we picked up a Falmer Bow yet? That's pretty cool. That is definitely better than the ancient Nord bow, so that's an upgrade. Even if we don't use bows much. Okay. Uh, so this is where they kept the... Um, visitors. The tourists. <sighs> this place is cursed. <sighs> but as long as we can take them on. Few at a time. It's unnatural. We can do this. Yeah, yeah. Miss Fire, bless me. Oh, this is fun. Hey! Enjoy! Speaking of flames, I want more of them. Let's get flamey up in here. <gasps> Did you see Stenvar just totally jump down like an- Ow, that's fire! Oh. Stenvar's my hero. And we can keep them fighting by the fire. Oh, this is such a cool place to fight. I'm digging this as an arena. Okay. Ugh. There's three of them now. This is the most that we've had. All right. I thought Flamey died, but they did. He didn't. She didn't. It didn't. All right. Let's see if I can maybe pull this guy back here and use the fire here for some effectiveness. Once Flamey perishes. Flamey's doing well so far. Stemmar's keeping the attention of two of them, which is also excellent. Ugh. Okay, knock him down. Okay, he's down. Now what I want to try, just for fun... Let's bring him back. But he's too powerful for a zombie. <laughs> of course he is. Oh, uh, I don't know the difference between them, but there must be a level difference, just that they're both named Falmer. Alright, well, I wanted to bring him up just for fun, but I don't have to. Stambar, you're mighty terrifying with that helmet. But man, do you fight well. Okay, that went well. Relatively speaking, I only fared for my life slightly. So this is a big improvement. Yeah, we need to talk about this whole standing in the fire thing. Take a weak poison, I suppose. I think I have a few of those weak poisons now, so... I'll apply one to my weapon. Just to have it at the ready. Ta -da! That's fine. Ooh, that's bright. Fly Amanita, White Cap, Namira's Rots, Bleeding Crown, Fly Am There's a lot of ingredients down here. I'll take some of it. Because that's pretty fun. Yep. Hey. Hey. Okay. It's time. Falmer chest. Hide bracers lockpicking are on, are on, even though they're not my combat gear. That's fine. It's 
all good. Just smile through the pain. Smile through the pain. Garnet, gold, and a horse one magical. That's amazing. Mm. All right, Stumbar. We're holding our own. Miss Fire, bless me. We are definitely holding our own. And... Badoosh. All right, let's push him back into flame. He's all oh, mage! Excellent! Oh, this is excellent. Oh boy. Mistfire, bless me. Side by side, Stenvar. Let's take him down. Flame is down there, keeping two of them busy. Meanwhile, we can deal with this lad over here. They're probably gonna... Oh, Flamey died. Okay, this is gonna be problematic real soon. I don't have many Magicka potions, but I have some. So I'm gonna drink one so that I can summon a new Flamey. And just stay calm. And I'm gonna summon Flamey in their mid so that all of them are gonna take fiery AoE damage. We have a Fulmer Skulker. That's not good. He earned that title somehow. Ugh. All right. Just keep keep stunning. Keep fronting Stenbar for taking too much damage. Stenbar is a strong, bulky boy, but he has his limits, you know? Oh. And he's healing. The Skulker can heal. Would you look at that? Heal through this. This is such a mess. I love it. This is exactly why I came down to Alftan. It was to be lingering poison. It was to be in the middle of battle like this, just fearing for my life. Falmer sword. I'll take that too. We are almost over encumbered now, so we need to see if we can find uh, a way to deal with that. It probably took some Dwemer craftsman Ooh. a year to build one of those things. Dwarven dagger. We'll take that. Goes to our collection. Okay. Let's see what the battle was worth. We have a lever. Which takes us back to the glacial ruins. Okay, okay. Alright, let's go. If you remember, we came to this Dwemer gate in the previous episode. And now we are most likely standing... On the other side. This is also really cool because it gives me a fast track out of here. At least, faster. That's what the Skyrim dungeons are really good at, especially the longer ones. Giving you an easy way of getting back so you don't have to backtrack. Do you hear that? Oh no, I think the sound corrupted. Yeah, the sound corrupted. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I read something about... The Alfton about that place having a chance to corrupt the sound. I don't know if saving now is a good idea, but I have an autosave there I could return to. Okay. I think I need to shut down the game. Oh no, my save! Okay, I've loaded the game. The sound is back, though will it break if I use this shortcut to get back down? Or was that random? Here we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, that's Skyrim for ya. That is Skyrim for ya. Char's Egg, Falmer War Axe, Skeever Tail, Dead Body, Vali. We read about you. They didn't know where you were. You were here all along, chilling. <laughs> These are pretty cool though. Open close, open close. Another empty skooma bottle. A silver ringgit though, that's pretty cool. Alright, what's in the sack? That is a scroll of cure wounds, nightshade, hawkbeak. Alright, things have been tossed a little from this desk here. Soul gem fragment, a grass pod, a saw. I mean, we're gonna need that eventually. <laughs> Hawk feathers, another soul gem fragment, blue mountain flower. The mage robes. Carrots, we will leave. Oh boy. We are starting to get quite heavy, though. That is something. Have I ever picked up an inkwell before? Well, we have one now. And a lockpick. And a quill. So I can ride home. 
boy, am I glad I searched the floor. This is a small pearl. They are pretty hard to get in Skyrim because they don't appear on oysters or anything natural. Like, we have to find them in loot or certain dungeons. Wonderful. We do also have some human flesh in our inventory still, and I am curious about how that tastes. So, I'm just going to go through the different ingredients here. Grass pods. Hawk beak. Hawk feathers. Human flesh. It's just no way, no turning back now. A small pearl. Mm-mm, crunchy. Yeah. Excellent. Take some more human flesh. <laughs> that still means we need to find one more small pearl so that I can store it away since I ate this one. What good is a sword or an axe against oh! made of brass and Chara's butthole, my favorite. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, Dunbar. Okay. I think other than that... That was most of the scattered loot there. Probably some magic that went off. Spider egg, human flesh. Lots of other stuff out here. Now I'm pretty heavy here. Come on. Stemart. Stemart. Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. He can't carry much more. Ooh, actually he can. He can carry at least former swords. Hunting bow of frost. And dwarven dagger? Okay, he's starting to run out of uh, circlets. Oh boy, blue mage robe. Yeah, we've pushed him. Uh, we pushed him Let's go. to the max, but now we can actually move, so that's great. This Falmer was shot by two arrows, not from me. So this goes further. So that's just a little trip back up to the glacial ruins, and then we can delve even deeper into the madness. But, considering we are starting to get very over-encumbered, I have an idea. Since we now have access... Ooh, this is also... Wonderful. Since we now have access to the Glacial Ruins... Ooh, almost didn't see Sola Trevatius' pack. I'll take the gold, we'll leave the helmet. Nice. Cabbage! That's huge. <laughs> I'm low on space and we're picking up cabbage, everybody. I'm gonna go back to the Glacial Ruins, and I'm gonna run back outside. I wanna store away some things so that I can keep hoarding, because we still have at least another huge zone of Alftan to do, and then we have Black Reach, so... While we are so close to the surface, I'm gonna store some stuff away. Now, usually, when I do my Champion of Cyrodiil challenge, and I cut out something, like a walk back, like I'm doing now, I would do a powerful magical snap and snap us there, but... I'm still not sure about cutting out that kind of progress in this series yet. Instead, I might just do a powerful zoom. Are you ready? Do. Okay, we're back outside and there's... There's trouble. Are those... Okay, so we have archers fighting a wolf and a spriggan. Uh, I mean, I don't really have to get involved here, but... For some reason, I'm going to... Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this time we have a flame atronach. You think I fear you? I used to. Okay, I'm. I, I need vegetable soup if I'm gonna. Oh boy, I can't. I can't level up either now. I need to save that level up. You are outmatched, Spriggan. So my plan for coming back outside is that I want to find somewhere I can store away some stuff, and then I can pick up that stuff later on. That's gonna be the plan. Ah, don't want to use a vegetable soup, so I'm just gonna do without. All right, uh, hunters. You're welcome. What do we got from you, Spriggan? Take some arrows. A little bit of Spriggan sap. You know, for a later snack. All right. I feel good, having saved the day. I really ought to avoid combat encounters I don't need since they give experience, but... That's hard to do. We have a chest here. Unless I can store something away in one of the corpses... I think the chest is our best bet. I don't feel fully safe placing it away in a random chest. But I just need to remember that we need to get back here soon. Okay, as long as we have that in mind, we should be fine. So, I'm going to get Stenvar to waddle on over. I'm going to take all of his stuff and I'm going to place it all in the chest. And then I will see you yeah. when that's done. And with that, the chest is carrying so much good stuff. 
But Stemmer and I were a bit lighter on our feet, and so we are going to go back down and continue into Alfton. Zoom! Okay, we have arrived back where we were. Now we are ready to carry more loot with us, and so I am excited to carry on. Let's see what... Fulmer. Should have figured that's what awaits us. We'll be okay. Alright, he's coming up here. Sneak increase. Reduce! Yeah. Okay, let's just keep our shield up in case any of them tries to snipe me. We just keep him stunned over here, and of course we gotta remember the veggie soup. There we go. <gasps> Frostbite spider! Okay, it's not that scary, but still, it's terrifying. That's what it is. Okay. We have an archer somewhere in the back. Mistfire, bless me. I'll go deal with the archer. Ugh. Because... Oh, did you see that? Deflect arrows. Try shooting me. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> okay, we are actually... This is a little scary. Because we're mightily low on health. But there we go. We got our back up. Ugh. Very good. Okay. I'll just take a breather in case there's more of them suddenly rushing in. And then... Yeah! Finish him. Beautiful, graceful, elegant. My Flame Atronach summarized. Orcish arrows. Cool. Have we picked up those before? Perhaps. Oh, we also have some poor unfortunate souls. Why would you ever delve into this ruin? Unless you're mad. Like me. Another Falmer. These are probably Falmer we've thrown from the very top. Scaly Foliotas and Void Salts. I don't know why I keep picking up, like, ingredients. They're just gonna get in my way. Though that Falmer ear, they, they do have damage health, so I might start harvesting uh, some of the Falmer ears. Okay. And then one was knocked over here. Just want to make sure they don't have anything, like... Fancy Fulmer stuff that I haven't gotten yet. Okay. And their huts are pretty lame. Not much to see. Okay. <sighs> Mistfire, bless me. Do I trust this? All right, just don't don't, get too far ahead. don't step in that one. That seems like a a bad time. The Alfton Cathedral. We've done it. We've cleared the animunculary. I might not be able to say it, but I know how to best it. Whew. Let's go to the cathedral. Let's get a taste of what the cathedral is like before we end today. Oh boy. Right, we have a Falmer over there. Draw to the Defender. Any other goods here? Hidden away in a little nook or cranny. Well, this would be a perfect spot to just have a little note that says, Oh, Dark, you're so cool. Here's awesome loot. Thank you. Okay, there's also plenty of pressure plates here, so... Alright, we just gotta face them. Ah! Knock him back. Keep him within Flame is Melee. Stun him whenever possible. Wait for Stenvar to come up and start dishing out some damage as well. I am loving this. Unstoppable. Well, until they stop us, that is. Oh my. Okay, okay. Let's just take it easy here. Cathedral itself. Before we delve in here, I do think it would be best for us to conclude and rather pick this up in the next episode because I'm a little spooked. Guys and girls, our descent through Ulfton is progressing, but 
The enemies here are definitely an interesting challenge. Now this next area seems to be swarming with the Falmer, and we just gotta find ways to deal. But we have Stenvar, we have Flamey, we have Magic, and of course the Mistfire blesses us, so how can we be anything but victorious? Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.